With the 17th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select C.D. Lamb, wide receiver, Oklahoma. About 20 guys were being recruited by D1 schools. And that's pretty much factual. Deep throw, wide open, C.D. Lamb, a touchdown. Busted defense. C.D. Lamb was going deep the whole way, right up the seam. Jalen Hurts, after he moved up in the pocket, able to throw. With the 51st pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Trayvon Diggs, defensive back, Alabama. Stark along third and three, and another interception. He threw it right to Diggs. And Diggs, who had a fumble recovery for a touchdown last week, has a pick six this week. Touchdown, Bama. With the 82nd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Neville Gallimore, defensive tackle, Oklahoma. Brantley tried to go up the middle, and he got clocked by Gallimore. <laughs> Gallimore, 310 pounds coming your way. They call him the Canadian Bull. Per, per carry, and he's a guy who has real good vision, has good lateral quickness, and he's a guy who can really... Not a slot corner. This is a guy at outside, when you match him up against those bigger receivers, he can do it. Long corner, 6'1", 205 pounds, ran 4'4", four, four, four at the combine, vertical 36 inches, really put it all together this season for Tulsa. Led the AAC and passes defense with 17. That sinking feeling, you've seen this before. The Dallas Cowboys have drafted a center out of Wisconsin. Travis Frederick, that center just retired. Welcome to his replacement, potentially, Tyler Biotish. Veteran, proven, well-coached player, obviously at Wisconsin. He was solid in that game in all aspects of center play. He thought, boy, he can be a starting center. He may be an early round pick, but then he would slip back a little bit. He'd say there's uneven performances. And then he started, I think, slipped down the draft board just a bit. So I think with Tyler Biotish now, coming to the NFL, he's coming out with a year left at Wisconsin. Learn, try to figure it out. They obviously have some op options with McGovern and Looney at, at Dallas. Lewis, he says they're just sea dogs. They're very friendly. The Cowboys need to word this contract carefully. Yeah, quarterbacks, 34 career sacks, 24 the past two years. This past year, 2019, 13 sacks. 11 of those 13 sacks came when he was lined up as the right defensive end, going against left offensive tackles in college football, led the FBS. So when you project that to the Dallas Cowboys, what does that mean? It means he's going to rush off the right side opposite Demarcus Lawrence. When you think about Brad and I, you think about production and technique. That's what he is. Another quarterback off the board, Mel. JMU, Ben DiNucci goes to the Dallas Cowboys, started his career at Pittsburgh. He did, and Ben DiNucci finished up strong. You talked about a guy who won a lot of football games. You got a guy, like you talked about, it. I think Daniel, mentioned, Daniel Jeremiah mentioned Jake DeLome, and I think that's the kind of guy that you're going to have to be if you're Ben DiNucci. Battle your way in, late round pick. He's a gutty kid. He hangs tough in that pocket. He's got that ability to beat you with his legs.